Well, there's a large homeless population here in Kern County, so how are we protecting them from the spread of COVID-19? Today, 17's Aton Wallace spoke with the directors of two local shelters, and he has more on how they're working to keep the homeless safe. It's no secret the homeless are especially vulnerable, which is why those in charge of the Bakersfield Homeless Center and the Mission at Kern are acting now to make sure their facilities are clean. This is the Mission at Kern. Every night, roughly 300 people sleep at this homeless shelter. On Wednesday, workers replenished portable hand washing stations put on campus just this month, one of the many actions the mission is taking to protect those who walk through these gates. And we really have to just be on high alert during this time. Uh, it's, these are uncertain times for a lot of people, a lot of people, and uh, including us. But we are called to serve. Mission at Current Executive Director Carlos Baldovino says in addition to the hand washing stations, the shelter is actively monitoring who comes in and out. And as for those who are in, the mission is staggering meal times to ensure the dining room is not filled to capacity. Furthermore, Baldovino says the facility is ramping up daily cleaning from two times a day to now three times a day. And finally, the campus has four areas set aside for quarantine, and that has kept the staff busy. All our staff is here. Um, we're asking people, if you're not feeling well, stay home. You know, we're, uh, you know we are you know, producing the meals. We're housing the people with the staff that we have. We're moving forward. You know, uh, the, the organization does not stop because of this crisis. It's actually, on the other side, it's actually more needs are being requested of us each and every day. The same applies to the Bakersfield Homeless Center, where they too have set up portable hand washing stations and set aside rooms for quarantine. Lewis Gill is the CEO. On top of COVID-19, he says the shelter is dealing with another challenge. The biggest impact to us is that at the Bakersfield Homeless Center, we are the largest family shelter. We're the only specifically family emergency shelter. And we have almost 100 children that are staying with us. They won't be in school now. And so our campus is going to be very, very busy uh, for the next several weeks. With everything the shelter is doing to combat COVID-19, Gill says they are facing a monthly shortfall of roughly $20,000. Even so, he says they're staying open. We're an emergency service, and we must exist because there's no option for our families. There's nowhere else to go. The directors of both shelters tell me now more than ever they are in need of donations. Any amount, they say, would be greatly appreciated. In East Bakersfield, Aton Wallace, 17 News.